You know it's sad when you and your own black people can't get along. But let me tell you this, Mr. Hood and Sister Soldier. I never call her the name, so listen. Stop by Mr. Hood, I respect your caliber. You know, you're doing a good thing, a good job. And we all know that all news is going to be factual. You can have your own opinion, but you can't have your own facts. Now, on your platform, Stop by me. you and Sister Soldier, a soldier, disrespect me. Well, let me tell you this, I ain't disrespect all in no time. When I call in, I give you all facts and truth. No disrespect. You can't do me that. You can't, you know, blaspheme my name like that. Then call me a Jamaican when I'm not a Jamaican. Look, when I call in, I never ask you all to come support my channel. I never ask you to send nobody to subscribe to my channel. Like all the rest of callers, they want a platform for your platform. And to all the people who are listening, let me tell you all something. I've been doing videos before Nipsey dead. And if all you really know about my videos, all you will know I did video about five months ago before Nipsey dead. When Nipsey went to Puff Daddy party and as they I sum everything up because they everything start to unfold to me, even though I know other things was going on before. Like certain callers calling and talk about finances when Nipsey spending his money back into the business. I remember them time. You know? I deeper than you thought. Any one of fucking y'all. Any one of y'all. I deeper than any one of y'all thought. And let me tell you all this. Just like all they had on your platform, prime time, and all they disrespect me, that same prime time, all they need to apologize to me to stop by news. I'm not no Jamaican. I born in Trinidad and Tobago in the island of Trinidad, slash country. Let me tell you something. It's funny that y'all didn't get the concept of my video, what I did. It wasn't an interview. It was trying to show the people who capitalizing on branding a man's name that could bring death onto a man and in the end, you, you find out that it wasn't the man. No, like I say, I haven't been, I, I, I was not picking up for cowboy. I was just trying to say, why are you all trying to create more debt? <laughs> Get the concept of the video. You all put in this man's name all day like, you know, and forget this man was Nipsey's friend. And yes, your friend is do you. We all know that. And... I yet to pull that little video where he explained to me. Because I asked him about going in Nipsey pocket. Because I saw the video too. And that was one of my main things. But then I flip it to, to the point and say, listen to me. Maybe, because if you have your friend and something happened to your friend, you would like to know that before anybody get his property, you safeguard it, not take it, but safeguard it. So I don't know what the intention of him being that low on Nipsey, whether he was trying to support him in trying to regain his consciousness and save his life by blocking his wound, or he was going in his pocket. Know how I'm saying it here? That is not how I bring it across to him. I tell him, if I can recall, but I have the tape, like I say, so I'm not going to front nothing, you know. I know how sometimes when a friend, you know, a brother close to you, 
in so much words, you know, pass and instead of anybody before you reach in the ambulance or anybody come and take because as you reach in the ambulance they don't know what's going on. You locked out from that. Wherever they get any pocket, whatever they take, you know, phone, phone call, log, certain things, you know, money, you know, things that he probably had planning. These things. You try to safeguard that. He said no, he was about saving his brother life. You know what I mean? His friend life, you know what I mean? And me personally, me and Tanda Kate no big friend. I see him a couple of times, you know what I mean? And I was see him in his convertible car, you know what I mean? Which he had before, because I don't see him drive it no more. But the point is this, I had to you know, tax my brain the same way. I'm like, what gonna be the purpose for killing Nipsey if he's not gonna benefit? Right? Yo, let me tell you this something. Nipsey dead, you all have to look into his music, you all go find the answer. Period. Stop by new.